Hi guys. Yeah, so I've been a bit slack on reading the Bible, so um, just do like daily turbo readings and um, we'll just get into seeing how to read and understand the Bible. Um, yeah, well, it's in little quick bites. So anyway, if you just have any insights or whatever after after a finished sort of thing just leave comments and uh, we can study it together anyway so we've got blue letter blue letter bible um can put the red letter on just to see where see where the red letter is in so make sure that's on okay introduction that's why i like this blue letter bible it breaks it up and gives you a summary at the top sort of thing of what it's what the next bit's about introduction for as much as many have taken in hand to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most truly believed among us, even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word, it seems good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write unto the in order, most excellent Theophilus, uh, that that thou mightest know with certainty all things were okay so what does that mean well what we can do is i suppose you can go this one whatever so read it this way many people have set out to write accounts about the events that have been fulfilling among fulfilled among us they used eyewitness reports calculating circulating among us from the early disciples having carefully investigated everything from the beginning i also have decided to write careful account for you most oral theolopolis and uh, so you can be certain uh, so what's what's this theolopolis let's have a look here uh there it is so it's this one here let's maybe look at the greek and all that theopolis friend of god person to whom Luke addressed his gospels and book of Acts um, friend of God a Christian alright so there you go that's what that means a Christian uh, let's go back alright that's what's a good bit about that at all so now you'll notice that um, this bit here he just says careful alright so where's King James What's to say? It says, um, perfect, alright, not just careful, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, like from the beginning. He's saying from the beginning, perfect understanding of all things from the beginning. So this is Luke saying this, to write unto the in order, so everything is in order, uh, the most ex excellent theophilus, right? Uh, to most excellent Christians. All right, so you you can be certain uh, that these things are have been instructed. All right, so then we got the birth of John the Baptist foretold. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, Zacharias, of the of the course of Abia, and his wife was the his wife was of the daughters of Aaron. And her name was Elizabeth. Okay, which... Let's see who this Aaron is. Go down here. Um, of Aaron. G2. That's different. All right. um, Lightbringer. Okay. Um, brother of Moses, the first high priest. Oh, there you go. Uh, okay. Very cool. <clears throat> okay, and then, um, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he ex executed the priest office before God in the order of his course according to the custom of the priest office his lot was to burn incense 
when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time, outside, um, at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. Right, where are we up to? 16. So keep in mind, this is about John the Baptist filled with the Holy Spirit All right. <clears throat> and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord All right. spirit and the power of Elias oh, let's have a look at Elias who's that um, where is he? Somewhere there in there. There, I knew that. Um, <clears throat> my God is Jehovah, a prophet born. This be unflinching champion of the theocracy reigns and the daughters kings of Ahab. He was taken up to heaven without dying. Ah, so he was raptured. <laughs> people hate that word raptured but yes so he, he was taken up didn't, he got snatched got caught away caught up and uh, Zechariah said to, unto the angel whereby I, shall I know this for I am an old man and my wife is well stricken in years and the angel answered answering said unto him I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and I am sent to speak unto thee, and show thee these glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb, and not be able to speak, until the day that these things shall be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in, this, in their season. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. And when he came out, he could not speak unto them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it became, and it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and hid herself five months, saying, "Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in these days, wherein he looked upon me, to take away my reproach among men." Uh, all right, well, let's have a look at 125 with the, this one. How kind the Lord is, she exclaimed, that he has taken away my disgrace of having no children. All right, so that's why you do it. NLT is the nice, it's, it's like the honey preachers love the NLT because it just sounds really good. <laughs> but it helps to understand what's going on so yeah I'll go back to King James <clears throat> alright um, and it also gives context like some people you think they're angry when they're speaking in some places but if you look at it uh, with the NLT and that is, it's not actually angry they're actually quite happy <laughs> so yeah it makes a big difference to get it into context Okay, Jesus' birth foretold. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city Galilee, named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came, came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled by 
troubled at his saying, and cast in mind what manner of salutation this should be. I might just go this for a while. <laughs> I struggle on that one. Um, Okay, confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what angel, what what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for, for you have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him uh, the throne of his ancestor David and he will reign over Israel forever. His kingdom will never end. Mary asked the angel, but how can this how can this happen? I am a virgin. The angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby will be born the baby but the baby to be born will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. Uh, let's, hang on. I think there's something different now. Are we at 32, 31? <clears throat> uh, oh, now see here. This is like the first time you see Jesus in in large print. All right, and and it's uh it's not in the other books. They don't put it in large print. You might. You only see it in that spot. Um, <clears throat> and the angel NBC, not knowing man. The Holy Ghost shall be on them, the power of the host shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she shall, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and and this is. The sixth month with her who was called barren for with God nothing shall be impossible and Mary said behold be, behold the handmaid of the Lord be it un, unto me according to thy word and the angel departed from her <clears throat> yeah alright so I might just pause it there so that that's the whole point of doing a bit at a time is that you can um, absorb in what you've read and um, think on it and just think of uh, what, what what bits you want to have a look at or look at again so just go through you've got your tools there and have a look all right god bless guys till next one